close attention because I'm only going to say this once. Ja- ja- Jackie Reed. From New York. Inside her story. Up in Harlem. Jackie Reed goes inside her story. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Sybil. Good morning, Damon. Happy Friday, everybody. So, Tom, I am joining the millions of black women who make up Team Natural. I have worn straight hair since I was a kid. First by Hot Comb. Hello, Sybil. I know you know what I mean. Hello. (laughs) Then by Relaxer for Kids. Damon, I know you know something about that. (laughs) And once I hit um, the airwaves at CNN Headline News, my short spiky hair, thank you, Paula Poindexter, was the main (laughs) thing people wanted to talk to me about. Well, I've decided to transition to natural, and I am blessed to be on the receiving end of much needed advice. But I must admit, it's a little overwhelming trying to figure out What's just right for me? So I called in a little help. My guest this morning is an award-winning natural stylist and salon owner. And her celebrity clients include, but are not limited to, Questlove, Janet Jackson, Layla Hathaway, Sonia Sanchez, Ava DuVernay, and Smokey Robinson. I'm going to let you get to this, Jackie, but Questlove is a client? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. He's very serious about his hair. <laughs> okay. I'm yes, sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> she is a trendsetter in holistic hair, uh, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to talk to her, and has a, one of the top salons in Philly, a much celebrated salon where she hosts community seminars and other forms of outreach. I'm going inside her story with the great Sarita Scott, of the Duafe Hair Salon. Did I say that right, Sarita? And good morning. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Good morning. Duafe Thank- Holistic Hair Care. Yes. Yes. Good job. Thank that you. was not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So let me just start with advice that you would give to women um, when they when they are transitioning. What's the best piece of advice you would give? Okay. So this is first off, be kind to yourself. Mm. Because as brown women, as women, we have a tendency of picking at ourselves. I sit in front of you guys in a mirror all day long. Mm. And a large part of going and transitioning is that you're tapping into what naturally belongs to you. Mm. So it's a a relationship there. It's a relationship, it's awareness. And let's be clear, the transition is not easy, but that you made the jump is something that I'm always tipping my head to. So first off, be kind to yourself. That's Secondly, it is so essential. It's so important that you're drinking your water. A large part of wearing your hair natural is now you working on your lifestyle. Hmm. So a great, a great uh, formula is dividing your body weight in ha- half, and that's how many ounces of water you need to drink. Foods, 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 making sure you're eating your beta carotenes, your kels, your yams, all those many different things, your leafy greens are so important because healthy hair is healthy lifestyle stressors stressors is something that we cannot walk away from but how we deal with it how we choose to step up to it is also really important because a large part of our edges yes it can be blamed on traction alopecia and so many different things but it's also our lifestyle and how we're dealing with our day-to-day challenges Girl, I should have called you a long time ago. That's, that is helpful. So so let me ask you. So at first, Sarita, I was going to do the big chop, right? But then I realized right. I wasn't ready for that. So I decided to do um, cornrows um, and wear a wig because I'm on TV every day. And I didn't want right. to transition on TV and look different every day. Um, so how, do, how? what advice would you give to women as to what they do with their, uh, whether they do the big chop or not? Okay, so how we handle this at Duafe is that we are we make sure we manage each client, service each client for their own personal needs. It's easy to walk in a hair salon and you meet this pompous natural hairstylist that says, I only work with natural hair. No, you got to meet people where they're at. So some people feel way confident to just cut off whatever's straight and starting anew. But then you have people like you who your job requires for you to have a certain look. So really what we do is we help people transition in the space and the readiness that they're in. So that means we, those for that sisters like, oh no, I can't cut my hair. There's flat to shan twists, there's twist out sets, there's rod sets, there's things that can give the illusion of you're, you're not going transi- transitioning with straight and then natural hair. And then those people who feel confident and ready, we give them a beautiful cut. We'll give them f- something fabulous like color. We will make sure that we alter their big chop in the best way that is best for them. 
Now, there are so many uh, hair care products out there for natural hair. I'm vegan, so I do want something that's holistic. Okay. But how do you decide and when do you start? If, if part of my hair is still relaxed and the roots are natural, when do I switch to, a nat to natural hair care products? Well, let's, I would like for you to use what you have in your closet. I am a minimalist. As it relates, you'll be surprised that I'm a hairstylist and I'm also a minimalist. That's because funny. Really? I want That's make an oxymoron, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Take it from my house. I make, do I say, we make our own product. And the reason why we do so is because we need to try to keep women as simplified as possible. You don't need a multitude of things to create one separate look. So if you're transitioning, I say try to use the products that you have, slowly wean them out your house, but you'll be surprised that a lot of the products that you need for your hair is sitting in your kitchen. So that's coconut oil. Mm. It's fabulous. It helps with detangling. It gives moisture. There's olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So slowly start adding those natural products into your hair. You know what I mean? Make things easier. It's about really, that's why I say I'm a minimalist, because we don't need as many things that we think. Yeah. Well, someone, on, a lot of women, thankfully, have been reaching out to me on social media as I go through this. And one thing that someone brought up that I really was curious about our edges because I'm yes. wearing a wig. Yes. Bibbity is yes. her name. She has um, a name. <laughs> she has a name. Her name is Bibbity. Um, <laughs> wearing a wig. Um, and they they were telling me that even with a wig, I need to be um, concerned about my edges. Yes. What, you why? Do. So because what you're doing is when we say traction, we're creating a bit of traction when that wig is on our head. Mm. So all the pushing, the pulling, the snug is snug on your yeah. head. And if you don't wear the proper undergarments, excuse me, um, <laughs> underneath your wig, <laughs> making sure your edges are properly oiled, making sure just being conscious about how you're maneuvering your edges. Like I understand we are in a day of fleek edges. But some of those products have a lot of alcohol in them, so just being mindful. So the cornrows that you have going to the back, they do not have to be extremely tight. Okay. Not at all. you got to make sure you're oiling your hair at least twice to three times a week. Is that where the coconut oil and all come in? Yes, exactly. I was going to ask if you should still be getting your scalp oil, because back in the day, he's like, you need to oil your scalp. I know. That's a great thing. But l let me ask you this, Sarita. So you like holistic products. Um, what's why are those better for our hair? And what should we be looking for when we're checking labels? If you're you know, if Target is what you have um, to buy right. your products and eliminate. From. Yes. Yes. OK, so our blessing is that we have these smartphones in our hands. <laughs> yeah. And at any given time, if something does not feel right, even though we saw our grandmothers and our mothers have it on their counter, we can now do the investigation to see whether or not we want this on our bodies. So what I say to all of our clients at Duafe is read the first three ingredients that mm -hmm. are mentioned in any product, and that's what it's mainly made of. So be cautious of the alcohol, be cautious of these parabens, these things that cause cancer, just because they put something all natural or black owned does not mean that it is. So let's be our own advocate and make sure that we are advocating for our beauty. Read the ingredients. No alcohol, no heavy latent products. You really have to be mindful. And just adding small things to your diet like apple cider vinegar. And what I mean, just ingesting it, but also cleaning your scalp with it. You'll see a difference because oh. a lot of the products that we put in our hair are way too heavy. And we just want to make sure that our scalp can breathe too. Sarita, you are a blessing to me and all listening this morning. Um, how can how can we find you at Duafe? What's the what's the uh, website? The website is duafehairsalon dot com, or you can reach us on Instagram at duafe d u a f e hair salon at Instagram. Now Thank you're in you. you're in Philadelphia, but we can reach you from all over the country. Yes. Yes, you can. We're also doing virtual consults. So that's if you're oh, nice. in Bamlahu, Mexico, and you just need some help. We're doing virtual consults. And if you find us on Instagram, you'll be able to sit down and talk with us. Thank you, Sarita. Sign me up. Me too.